Hello, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's Emily Lucy Ratch. I hope you're good. I'm gonna move you actually. I feel like that's not a good spot. I am back after a few weeks off. Um, I did take some time off because I'm not gonna lie, February was a complete and utter shit show of a month. I got food poisoning, I'm not cooking um, chicken in the air fryer for long enough, so I highly suggest not to do that. And then the week after, I was literally on cloud nine, I was feeling so good, my weight loss and healthy habits journey was going so well. We got Josie from this morning in one of the ELR style dresses. I was honestly living such a high, I was like really, really happy with how everything was going. And then, you might already know this if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, but I got my drink spiked in London. And I honestly thought it was game over. The way that I had, oh, I don't even wanna go into it because it's like actually traumatic for me to talk about. It was like, I was having a fit, I was in hospital. I was unable to talk. I would not have been able to pick up a camera and talk to you guys ever again if those side effects would have continued like they were for three or four days after it had happened to me. And it's just sickening to think there's people in this world that would do that to anybody. I was out with my husband and um, our two best friends. We were having dinner, just a few drinks, nothing wild. And someone obviously just thought it'd be really funny to put some in my drink, which we think was LSD or some kind of hallucinogenic acid. Um, that's what the hospital thinks. There's a new drug going around where instead of it being like, I don't know how much I can say on YouTube actually without this getting flagged, but basically there is this thing they're putting in people's drinks now where instead of it making you like sleepy and stuff like the ones that's quite well known, it actually makes you think like everything is a good idea so somebody can suggest something to you and you're like, yeah, 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 let's do that. And it's just, yeah, complete out of body experience. Like the way that I was acting, like I said, I don't want to create a whole video on that because I just think I'm trying to move past that part of my life now. It was, it's been a really difficult few weeks just to try and like digest and just move past it and just try and get back on, on track, which, I have done this week and I'm feeling so much better. I've just finished filming, which is why I'm in full glam hair and makeup. And I've just really got back into the swing of things this week. So I'm feeling so good for having some structure to life and moving more and eating well. And yeah, I just feel like I'm back in a good place, which is just such a relief after such shitty weeks, to be honest. My dad's doing really well as well, so thank you so much for you guys asking. He is like a different person, like what a blessing that that's happened to him, and he's been able to have his kidney removed and he's completely fine. So I'm just, honestly, I'm just, I feel like I'm just through the shit storm and hoping for a very, very positive March heading into April. We've got a huge launch for ELR Style. At the end of this month, it's gonna be the swimwear launch. So the video after this will be me trying on all of the new swimwear for ELR Style, which I'm so happy about. And the fact that I've actually lost 10 pounds, guys, 10 pounds, and I'm gonna be doing a swimwear haul. I'm feeling good. I feel like, obviously there was nothing wrong with my body before. It's more like I said to you at the start of this series of healthy habits. I just feel so much better in myself when I'm being healthier. Um, it's, it's just more like getting up, being positive, working out more, moving more. So yeah, I just feel really good in my skin, which I know I'm gonna really, it's really gonna come across in that video. So yeah, I'm gonna drive home now because um, like I said, I've just finished work and I'm gonna be making HelloFresh for tea tonight, which I'm really excited about. It's either coconut curry or a korma curry, I think, I can't remember. I'll have a look when we get in. But yeah, let's, I thought we could just start the video off with me driving. Actual terrible driver, guys. So we've got little Maxi in his little big boy bed. Yes. Oh, darling. I'm going to move you down here while I'm driving for safety reasons. I also desperately need to get some petrol. While I'm driving, is anybody else watching Celebrity Big Brother right now? Because. I am absolutely loving it. It's just hilarious. Sharon Osborne, I've always loved Sharon. I remember watching the Osborns when I was a kid, like the first ever like reality show that I can remember watching. 
and I just think she's amazing and I'm just loving all of the tea spilling <laughs> like Sharon and Louie have slated that many people I'm just here for it because you don't really ever see that kind of stuff do you and the second thing is where is Kate guys where is Kate I don't know about you but every time I go on TikTok or Instagram there's another conspiracy theory and it's getting to a point now where I'm like actually something's going on here I think it's more the one that I just saw for, on TikTok was that Prince William and Kate's family have not been to visit her other than once in like 10 weeks or something which sounds very odd I mean I don't know where these facts are coming from because I'm very gullible I don't know about you guys but if somebody tells me something on TikTok I'm like it's gotta be true so I've got for my lunch one of the diet to go meals this one is beef stroganoff it's 555 calories and it's got 56 grams of protein in which i am in need of let's start talking about what this video is actually about which is my weight loss journey so i have now lost 10 pounds so i'm really happy about that i think i probably would have lost more at this stage if all of that hadn't happened um because that week to 10 days that I was just sat on the sofa watching films and not really knowing what day it was. Um, I did just eat whatever I wanted um, or whatever was easy. So I wasn't con consciously like eating healthy meals and things like that where I've frozen all of my diet to go meals. So they're just so handy that right now I've just got in from filming and I can just grab a healthy meal like that is helping me so much. So. I think it's actually 11 pounds I got weighed this morning and I've actually lost another pound so yeah I'm on 11 pounds which I'm so happy about um and last time I spoke to you I said I was going to do home workouts what home workouts do we think I've actually done none I've done zero home workouts um but I did go to the gym yesterday as you can see here and after that when I got home I was like oh I think I've overdone it and I have been so sore so that was Tuesday today's Thursday I have not been able to sit down you know you just like haven't been to the gym for ages but you forget that you haven't been to the gym for ages so you start working out and then you, you, honestly I haven't I don't know what I've done but my actual muscles in my bum it must have been a great workout so what I've just showed you highly recommend but make sure you give yourself a few days to recover but what I think I'm going to do is actually do a home workout tomorrow because if I train on Tuesday, I was supposed to train today, I haven't. I think by tomorrow I'll be fine. So what I think I'm going to do is actually use my tra my treadmill. Because that was another thing. I was at the gym on Tuesday and I thought, I'm on the treadmill, I can just do this at home. So I tried to use just mainly machines when I was at the gym. But tomorrow I'm going to do a home workout and I'm going to film it and add it into this bit. And then I think I'm going to aim to lose another £5 this month. So that by, what are we in? January, February, March. And I've lost 11. 12, 13, 14. Yeah. If I get to the end of March and I've lost another £4, then I'll be at £16. So that when we get to the end of April, I'll have lost £20 with another 4 So that's my goal. I'm obviously not going to put any unrealistic... Like, I'm not going to starve myself or any. I'm just not in that mindset, honestly. I'm feeling so good. I've been really healthy. I'm, I'm just enjoying it, to be honest. Definitely not tracking calories or anything yet. Today with these meals, I shouldn't need to. This is 5.50. And then tonight I'm going to have this Hello Fresh. is 8.50, which is probably more than a healthy meal. should be, but it looks fantastic and I can't wait to eat it. You know, I just don't want to make any sacrifices. I want to, I love food. I enjoy food. I saw this meme yesterday and I was like, that is me. Give me a cookie. That's my body type too. I will show you what I do in the morning. I obviously won't look like this. I won't have full glam, so jump scare. Um, but yeah, I'll probably show more tomorrow of what I eat in a day, which I think could be quite interesting. Just started this in the middle of the day, so see you tomorrow. Oh, 
it makes such a difference when there's a little bit of sunshine shining on you. I feel so good this morning to do my workout before work. So I am gonna do just a bit of upper body because as I mentioned yesterday, I am still very sore on my legs and my butt. <laughs> so I'm not gonna be doing too much. Um, I'm just gonna start with a little bit of a upper body workout at home, which I'm gonna show you what I bought here. And then I'm gonna make myself some breakfast and I'm gonna go to the office. So I've got some meetings. And then I think we're having a Thai green curry for tea, which I'm so excited about. So this is basically the start of what I eat in a day and what I'm doing on my weight loss journey. And as you can see from the outfit I've just put on, I can definitely see my clothes are getting so much bigger on me, which feels good in the fact that what I've been doing is working. And as I mentioned yesterday, it's not even that I'm making any real sacrifices. It's just happening naturally because I'm eating better. I'm making healthier choices. I'm not having crazy amounts of takeaways. I'm moving more and this little routine and having some self-discipline is working so well for me. My whoop score has been really good. I think it was 80% last night maybe, I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling really good, drinking more water again. You know, I've been saying it for three three videos now what I'm doing and it's just, this video is just more about showing consistency is key and it's working. I've been motivated quite a lot recently by other people. There's um, a girl called Samantha that I've been watching on TikTok and she's been sharing walking on the treadmill for two hours every day. And you know, exercise doesn't need to be like super strenuous. Making small changes over a longer period of time is what works really well for me because it becomes more of a habit. It doesn't feel like I'm doing anything too out of my normal day-to-day -day life. So I'm gonna show you right now what I'm gonna do at home. Like I said, I've not done a single home workout. I feel like by me doing this video is actually making me do this. So thank you for motivating me and keeping me accountable. Um, so I'm just really excited to do another one of these videos in April after I've actually kept myself accountable by doing these workouts and stuff in the morning and walking on the treadmill and stuff and what the results are going to be then because I'm really feeling good and people are starting to notice my friend Tom just sent me a message saying I'm looking good and I just really I don't know I like that and like I said it's not about I just feel like I have to say these things because I don't want you guys to be like you're prom promoting weight loss to look good blah 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 because it's not it's just me being as honest as I can with you guys that yes I want to lose weight because I feel better in myself and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that I'm not saying that by being two stone heavier than I am right now would make me feel any worse about myself it's about the fact that I lost that weight last year and put, get, regaining it made me realize actually I feel a lot more comfortable in my body the way I was in summer so that's what's happening here and there's no right or wrong way to do things. If you wanted to, if you want to be a size, whatever. It, I'm, I'm for everybody being happy in their own skin, and you guys know that I'm so about body positivity, not for wanting to be unhealthy, but accepting who you are and how you look and your flaws and your perfections and things that you love about yourself. That's what I'm so about. So I don't want anyone to be watching these videos and feel confused with what the messages of these videos because, for me, all I'm trying to do is motivate people to make healthy life choices and I think there's nothing wrong with that at all so I'm gonna stop rambling now and I'm gonna start lifting some weights so this is probably not the best angle and I know Max like clockwork he's gonna arrive you're so funny yes he's like right is it time for us to go out we are gonna go we're gonna go I'm just gonna show these weights and then we're gonna go okay little cuddle and then we'll start you sit there good boy you wait there good boy okay so what I've got here in my little home workout is these big plates that I got, like I said, in lockdown. They're both 10 kg. They were living in the shed for majority of the last four years, but I've got them back out last year and then they've just been sat in my dressing room for about a year. <laughs> and occasionally I pick them up and occasionally Anthony picks them up, but very, very occasionally. It's annoying because it's one of the curved bars, which is meant to be for like triceps um, and bicep curls. It does what it needs to do because I've got an actual thing that goes across there for when I do my hip thrust, which I've just realised it's not there and it was there, so it's probably somewhere in this room, so I need to find that. And then the other one I got last year are these, I think I got these off Amazon, I'll link everything down below. So yeah, what I like to do with these is tricep dips like this, and I love doing those for this part of my arm, I feel like it really tones it. When I went on my hand last year, I felt like my arms just looked really nice and, I don't know, like you could tell I've been lifting weights and that's 
one of the exercises I absolutely love to do. I like to do shoulder press with these ones. So shoulder press is this one, which then gives me this like really nice, like defined bit here to look like I've got shape and muscle there. Um, and then the other one is obviously bicep curls, which is good for this area. So that's kind of what I'll do for an upper body workout. And then I also like to do back, which is where I'll be on a bench and I'll have like one arm on the thing, one arm on that, that and then you do like the back ones like this. But I'll not be on the floor doing that. I'd be on, I'd have my, my legs up. I feel like I'm gonna show you properly in the gym what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna finish by doing just 40 minutes on the treadmill walking, but I think Max has got other ideas because he keeps bringing me this. So I think I'm actually just going to go and take him out now. For a walk instead, would you like that? Let's show everybody your tricks, ready? Let's show everybody your tricks. Come here, sit. Ready, catch. <gasps> You're so clever, yes you are. I'm going to quickly take him out so that we are ready to go to work this morning. From our walk and I'm gonna have some breakfast now so I'm thinking a chicken sausage sandwich to get some protein in after my little workout and my long walk. Um, so for breakfast I am gonna have four of these heck chicken sausages. So it says two sausages are 66 calories and I'm having four. Quick math. style if there weren't things stressing me out massively two weeks before a launch. God, some stuff's not been sent yet. I'm very stressed to be a lifestyle at the moment, but the best thing we can do is just eat healthily and try and maintain some form of work-life balance, which I don't know right now. I feel like I want to scream into a pillow. This is good though. So I'm making tonight pad thai, which I said earlier. This one I think I got from Weight Rose. And I've just put some vegetables in that I got from Aldi. And then I'm gonna make it with king prawns. And it says it's 340 calories per 100 gram. So I'll show you when I've done it. Oh, and my husband's just walked through the door. I'm about to cook it for him. Put the noodles in boiling water. I'm gonna add the prawns. I've been updating my, I'm just stirring my prawns. I've been updating my home account because I forgot all about it to be honest. And our home account. We've had this house for over five years now. It was our first ever house we moved into and we definitely had enough to move and get a house that we really wanted. But as you guys probably know, we invested all the money into the business, which we're still in that situation. And one thing I cannot wait for is the day that I can film in a kitchen and not try and hide everything because this kitchen is so small. I hate this kitchen so much. I don't hate it because that's a strong word. This house I absolutely love and I've got so many memories here and it's yeah. I'm just, I would not be in the position that I'm in with work and everything if we hadn't have got this house because this is where it all started. But in terms of creating content and filming and just just life, like hosting as a this kitchen, like if I, if I knew we were staying longer, I would definitely have an extension because I just like I can touch both ends of the kitchen. It's so small. Um, so yeah, I'm daydreaming while I'm filming in here of the day that I have my big dream kitchen that I can actually cook in. Hopefully everything's going to go to plan with the last start. It's going to be so amazing this launch and we'll finally have the dream house that we have wanted for so long. Mm, I'm 
the good thing I think about pad thai is it's got egg in there, prawns, noodles, vegetables, it's protein, but it's gonna make me feel really full and delicious. So that's me done. I feel like this is a real mismatch of different days now, but today is Sunday and the weather has been so gorgeous today. It's been super sunny, but a really good day. Did a bit of a workout, had a bath, scrubbed all my tan off because I had a spray tan on that was just not going anywhere. So I've got it all off so I can um, do a fresh layer of tan tonight. Um, it's been really sunny, I went for a gorgeous walk and I've just been really getting myself ready mentally for the week ahead to stay on track and just have more structure because I'm actually feeling so good today thinking about the last week. I've lost two pounds this week, so I'm actually so close to my target already, which I don't think I actually realised when I first started this vlog, that I'm like more than halfway through the results already, which is so exciting. And as I mentioned, I am feeling like quite motivated to start exercising a lot more now. So that's kind of like the next step. And the fact that I've got to this point just by making better choices, cutting takeaways out. I've actually even done little things like I've stopped having cow's milk. I'm having soya milk in my tea. I don't know whether that's making any difference. Not as much low pack as I mentioned in the last video. Not as much bread. I've just been eating without restricting myself just a lot better by having more... Well, this is the thing, like I said in the first two videos, I can't remember which one it was, but it actually isn't hard for me to lose weight. It isn't hard for me to eat healthy because I enjoy those foods. I like to cook... As long as I'm prepared and I've got these meal preps like I have been having, then it's not hard to lose weight because for me, the times that I gain weight is around times when I'm not prepared, I don't look after myself, I'm just eating what I can, I'm having loads of takeaways, stuff like that. So I feel like when I'm in this mindset, it's really not hard for me to lose weight. What is hard for me is exercise and getting into a routine of getting back into the gym and not just going for dog walks I mean there's nothing wrong with just going for dog walks is there but I think if I want to reach the goals that I am looking at then I need to just start doing a little bit more so I'm gonna go on my treadmill tomorrow morning I've decided I'm gonna just try and really start to get a good routine of doing at least like an hour's walk on the treadmill a week whether that's split like just in 10 minutes or whether it's half an hour for two days or whether it's just one day where I do an hour I need to set myself a, a target so I think that's the next stage I'll probably update you guys on that in the next video but yeah I'm just really proud of myself I feel like I've done everything I've set out to do work super busy and I've still been able to lose weight so I'm really happy and I'm feeling really good in my own skin like my skin is just I feel like it's just so glowy and nice I've got a few little blemishes because I'm due on my period which always happen but I just I don't know I just can't explain it this morning I woke up half past seven no alarm clock every day I just wake up, wake up now at half past seven no issue go to bed at 10 o'clock like having those regular bedtimes has helped me so much and obviously I've mentioned my whoop really helps with that but my sleep score last night I need to show you guys because I'm just like it's paid off 97% score so I actually only had 94% sleep because I like I say I woke up at half past seven um but 97% recovery and today because we went for a really long walk I'm at 15.7 strain so I know like that is that is what I want to be seeing I'm really trying and the results speak for themselves because work has been so full on the brand has been testing testing me like you can't imagine there's lots of exciting things happening it's all positive, but sometimes I'm like, how do I do this and still create content and still work with other brands and be a good manager and be a wife and be a friend and be a daughter and look after Max? Like, I just, I don't actually know how I do it sometimes. So I think having like structure to my days, going to bed at 10, getting up early, making some time for myself, in the morning to plan what I'm going to eat that day with the meal. Just, just having some structure is actually making all those other tasks in life that are stressful and have to have my brain, <laughs> brain working for a lot easier. So, yeah, I just want to. Share. I hope this really motivates somebody because this is what January, February, March. We are like nearly into four months of me adapting to this healthy habit way of living, and 
I'm so glad I've documented this journey because I think you'll be able to see from the first video up to now, like, I think my jawline is coming back. And I think, I don't know, like, it's just quite nice to see it as a stage because I do not want anybody to watch one of my videos and be like, this is going to happen overnight. We're talking four months. Four months I've lost 11 pounds. Like, I think that's really good. Some people are, like, crash diet and they lose a stone in, like, a week and, like, that's just, that's just not me. I want to do things slow, steady, keep it off, keep those healthy habits. And I'm doing it and I'm just so happy and proud. So I'm going to go now. Thank you so much for watching. If you've stuck around to this end, I know I've done a lot of rambling in this video, but I feel like it's actually helped me get to the stage that I'm in right now because I've, I don't know, like I think with everything that went on in February, it was also a bit of a whirlwind. So when we came into March, I was kind of a bit like just trying to get myself back on my feet. Whereas now that I'm through all that and I'm just looking forward to summer, like today the sun has just, honestly, my mood is just like, boo, because it's just been so nice and it's got me so excited for the next few months ahead. So I think because all that's happened then and like how I'm feeling now, doing this video has made me think, shh, I've actually like done what I said I was going to do and I'm, I'm doing it and I'm feeling so good for it. So thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Really appreciate you sticking around. So thanks and thanks for all the messages I got about what happened to me honestly seeing on, it was like thousands of you had messaged me making sure I was okay which is just crazy I think my star reviews that day was something like 220,000 people watched my story which is crazy because usually I'm not that active on stories other than stuff I'm sharing so yeah thank you so much for messaging me and everything I'm fully wet to normal now and I hope you can see that so thank you for watching I'll speak to you guys soon